Um, I think that basically these after school activities really expand the school's universe and it's really great because it's just like not like your average like classroom, you know? And I think like it gives like I think teachers and students a chance to like connect um, and sometimes bond, I guess. And I think that's one of the great things about the school about the extracurricular activities and the classroom without walls. Uh, I recently uh, had knee surgery. Uh, I had a torn meniscus. Um, I have just can't say enough about the medical treatment that I received and the school support for that medical treatment. Uh, I had personnel from the school take me, you know, for uh, an exam and for an MRI and all the procedures I needed to be have done ahead of time. Uh, they walked me through it every step of the way. I felt that the doctor, who was English speaking, uh, certainly gave me all the necessary information for me to make a, a very good decision in terms of whether or not to have surgery or just try physical therapy. Uh, the surgery went very smoothly. Uh, three weeks after surgery, I just returned from a trip to the coast where I hiked uh, four hours a day, every day. My name is Justin McLennan. I'm a second grade teacher and I've been teaching for, this is my fifth month now, started this year. Hi, my name is Pascal Richard. I'm from Montreal, Canada. I'm teaching grade 9 math uh, at CNG. Regarding the, um, the apartment that I got, I think that, that was the, the biggest shock I had when I got here. It's, it's incredible. Like, I, I did not expect that at all. My apartment was very nice. It's fully furnished in the living room. You'll have a sofa, chairs, a table, a dining table. Most apartments, in fact, I think all of them are two bedrooms and two bathrooms. Um, you'll have linens, dishes. Um, they'll set you up with food for a few days and then they'll take you shopping. Uh, location itself, it was very nice because there's so many other CNG people in this area. We can walk to school, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to walk to school every morning. And everything that we would ever need is right in this area. The supermarket is less than a 10 minute walk. Um, there's restaurants everywhere. Bogota is, is a great city. It's not, it's very big, but the area around the school is amazing. There's like a very good places where to live and a lot of little restaurants. Everything is very homey. Uh, you'll get used to it very easily. And then just also with Bogota, it has like a very nice nightlife. So, I mean, there's, as uh, Valentina said, there's a lot of restaurants or places to go if you want to dance. And so you generally, you know, on the weekends, there's a lot to do as well. Um, Colombia is one of the, probably the best country I've ever lived in. To go to Colombia to see all these nice people, a good environment, you know, it's clean, it's very friendly. I just think it's great and it's going to be hard for me to leave especially because I just love it so much and I'm sure anybody once they get here they'll like adapt really quickly because it's so good. When I grow up I want to be um, a teacher of CNG. Should teachers come to Colombia and CNG? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely, right? Yeah. Yes. Alright, let's say goodbye in Spanish. Adios. This is the way my country looks from the outside. Now, I want you to see it from the inside, because this is how you will really get to know who we are, how we act, and what we dream. Because if there is something we Colombians actually are, it's dreamers, and how we should not appear. If this is a magical country, full of colors, flavors, places, Good people, many, many good people. People who make art fall in love with the rhythm of accordions. People who bring us glory in sports. Sweethearts, friends, children. We Colombians are ordinary people. People with problems, but who are nonetheless considered to be among 
The happiest under the sun. It takes a full year to get acquainted with all of our festivals and celebrations because we have one for every single day of the year. The Barranquilla Carnival, the Cali Fair, the International Book Fair, Rock at the Park, Colombia Mora, the Ibero-American Theater Festival, which by the way is the biggest one in the world. All this shows that there is more to this country than meets the eye. There are oceans, beaches, all possible climates any time of the year. Spanish colonial architecture. Modern architecture. Handicrafts for expert. There is progress. Exquisite coffee. Countless beautiful women and orchids. We have art. Just think of Master Fernando Botero's art. The man who has made the world love the chubby ones. We have musicians. Si Juanes, a Grammy winner. One of the world's top sellers. Shakira, the girl entire countries have fallen in love with, with her songs and her dance moves. Carlos Vives, the only performer who has come out with the Vallenato and Rock Mix. People in sports, Si Juan Pablo Montoya, our Formula One driver. Si Camilo Villegas, such impeccable swing, such impeccable attire. We have riders such as Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Nobel Prize winner. We have actors. These are just a tiny fraction of all talented Colombians. Because there are many more, we have them all. And all of them share one thing, passion. Passion for life, for family, for nature, and passion for peace. Perhaps now you will think differently about my country. Because what I have just showed you reflects who we truly are. Colombia is all about Colombians. That's why Colombia is passion. De que me sirve, hay que me quiera. Esa persona que no quiero que me quiera. Si la que quiero, hay que me quiera. No me quiere como quiero que me quiera. De que me sirve, hay que me quiera. Esa persona que no 